say bananas, you say peppers. And today, you guys, we have kind of a spooky unboxing. Really quick, you guys, before we dive in, if you're not subscribed already and you'd like to be, hit the subscribe button down below. Become a member of the Banana Peppers Squad today. We do lots of fun things on this channel. Unboxings, random fashion things, random videos. I'm really selling this subscription here. Hey, it's free. This is like the, oh my God. Okay. I love this corny show. Let me know if you remember it. It's called Tales from the Dark Side. And the intro is like, you're walking through a park and the nature is beautiful. And then all of a sudden they're like the dark side and everything becomes like black and white and spooky with blood dripping letters. This unboxing today is kind of like that intro because this is like the dark side of five surprise mini brands. Have you guys ever heard of wacky packages? I feel like these have been like collector's cards or stickers or something in the past, kind of like garbage pail kids, but instead of like, you know, creepy like cabbage patch kind of creatures, or maybe I'm also thinking of like living dead dolls. You guys know what I mean, but instead of focusing on like characters or dolls or something like that, wacky packages have always focused on like spoofs of foods. So kind of in that uh, lane, you guys might remember like my spitting critters unboxing video from a couple of months ago, where like the poopsy slime surprise, they will have like Farta instead of Fanta or like Dr. Pooper or something like that. So that is what we're going to be getting into today. I didn't even know that these things were in existence. I think that they are brand new. Um, but I was actually looking for the little miniature grocery store diorama thing after our last five surprise mini brands unboxing um and this came up as like a suggested item let me know if you guys have seen these like in any stores or if you knew that these existed how new they are what's going on so i got three packages today so this should have 30 different figures in it i have also the five surprise mini brands. These are all of the season two that we have because I thought maybe it would be fun to just like look at some of them side by side in comparison and see like, do these look like they are the same quality? I think that these will be like really cool because I just noticed that they're by the brand World's Smallest, which is actually a really fun brand. Let's finally deep dive in. So here is what the packages look like. And if I haven't said it already, there are 66 different items to collect. And you know, if you were like actually buying these in a store or something, you could pick the ones on top. So at least you would know then that you were not gonna get like at least two of the duplicates. What the inside packaging looks like, they almost look like little trash cans. And Depending on how these things open up, I honestly feel like maybe these could be a little bit more reusable than the five surprise balls. Cause these almost feel like you could like keep them and I don't know, put pens or pencils in them or something. Oh my God, is there a Dr. Pooper option here? That's hilarious. Haven't we seen Dr. Pooper somewhere before? Like with Poopsie Slime Surprise or something? So we have, ew, we have Crafty Shingles. Does that say stale old cheddar? Stale old cedar! Oh my god, you gotta read carefully. I just noticed, like I thought they were talking about like shingles, like the cooties, but they mean crafty shingles like bits of wood for your roof. And it actually does look like a little piece of cheese is sticking out, but I guess you're supposed to think that it's like a plank of, uh, what are those things called? Not ceiling tiles. Shingles? They're, they're called shingles. What are those shingles called? So yeah, that is, I don't know. Uh, you know what? I've looked at one. I was about to be like, I don't know if these look as realistic as five surprise mini brands. Like I've literally looked at one thing. Up next, ew, <laughs> we have like a little sticker and this says it's Angry Jack. I don't know what the pancake, isn't there like a Jack something pancakes? Caution, contents are mad hot. Our pancakes get so hot, they'd like to knock the crepe out of you. 
Wow, aggravated bitter milk pain cake mix. You guys, every word of these packages is like some play on pain. So this is what the inside looks like. Let's lift this out because it looks like the rest of these. Ooh, okay, so from here on out, uh, the rest of these are all in these little individual bags. So that is pretty fun. So I think that this, oh my gosh, you guys, I did not even have an idea. Look at this kind of like folded up catalog of all of the world's smallest items. You guys, look at this. I had no idea. I thought that there was like 12 of these. There's like 500 of these things. Back on track for this video. So let's open this. This is the first other little package in there. All right, what do we have? Ew, okay. Russian dressing fish bone. That's what it smells like. I don't know what this means. Wishbone, I guess? Wishbone dressing? But why would it be specifically Russian? Is there some sort of Russian fish bone dish that I don't know about? So yeah, I so far, just based on the first two items I've looked at, these do not look as detailed. Like for instance, like here's the package of, what does this say? Crip, Crips Ahoy? Oh my gosh, okay. He's like a pirate skeleton. Crypts Ahoy, arguably the best cookie. Oh. So, you know, I feel like this is a type of package similar to, where is it? The Orida fries. So still the five surprise mini brands are like very much more detailed and more like real, let's say, than these. These are more just kind of like a spoof. Now, I like the size of them, you know, because I feel like I could hand this to a Furby or something and it would look, you know, realistic for Furb life. See, I feel like if this was like a Five Surprise mini brand, this would actually be like a little string on the top, but instead it is just plastic. Ew, cracked animals? <laughs> what does that mean? Cracked animals, animal crackers. Now that kinda does look like a little bit of real packaging. It even has like the little wheels on the bottom. I'm trying to read what this says. Crazy zookeeper, laughing hyena, dead alligator, hippie hippo. Why is the alligator dead? Literally what? What? I'm disturbed. Alligators don't die. Everyone knows that. I feel like I need to pick up the pace, you guys. Every time I look at something, I'm like so slow looking at it for the first time. So we have milk drone sneak attack snacks with surprising flavor. So I guess it's like these little dog bones being dropped from a drone. You guys, this, this is like somebody's fever dream, honestly. What? Milk drone. All right. Um, so that was our first little container. So here is our little checklist. And there are some like super rare ones. I don't know what they call each thing. So the rares are with the stars. And then I guess the red and yellow squares up there. I thought maybe that would like mean something different. Okay, let's open package number two. Let's look at the next five. We got, what is this? Moron salt instead of Morton salt. I don't know what the little person is doing. Oh, she just looks angry. When it rains, the salt doesn't pour. All right, time to see what our weird little sticker is going to be. Hawaiian punks, bloody nose red, free offer you can't refuse, beats you to a fruit juicy pulp. You guys, these are next level bizarre. <laughs> oh, these are also by Tops, I guess, which I thought that they were just kind of like the baseball card or like the trading card kind of thing. Okay, let's open this because this looks like a can. Maybe we have a can of Dr. Pooper. Ew, no, we have horrid spray deodorant. I don't even know what this is meant to be knocking off. What brand is like horrid? Oh, you guys, these like little cartoons 
are honestly kind of scary to me. Like, I'll never forget, like, old-timey drawings of the Mad Hatter used to scare me to tears when I was a kid. Like, literally, I, I can't explain, like, how sometimes drawings and cartoons are just so terrifying to me. These are all kind of terrifying to me. Mrs. Clean will wipe up the floor with Mr. Clean if she can find him. Ew. Yeah, like, aren't all these faces just, like, super scary? It's just, like, ugh. It's, like, off, off, off-putting. Is that what I'm trying to say? Unsettling? Yeah, I feel like normally I'm like, I like the cute, creepy things. Ew, macaroni and sneeze. Sniff, it's the sneeziest. Pepper flavor. Like, look at this drawing, you guys. Look at his face. That's really creepy. Oh, you know what? I can do a side-by-side -side of the actual macaroni and cheese. The real one, the real one, ah! the real mini brands one is actually like just a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh, you guys. It definitely does look and feel a lot more real though when you have these like paper carton ones than like the plasticky kind of ones. Oh my gosh, I'm like the eighth one in. And I just noticed that there's a pull tab. Ew, okay, so this is Rivals. Rivals have rumbles. And it says, oh my gosh, the writing is so tiny. Fuel your competitive nature. Potato chips for crazed fans. Would you look at that? But see, then on the back, it's just like all like plastic. Which is kind of crazy because they could have put funny stuff on the back of the bag, you know? We are now into box two. The next 20 of them are coming up. And right on top now, I do see that once again, we have another box of macaroni and sneeze. Ooh, there's a Fruitopia one. Oh my gosh. Okay, Gadzooka. Annoy your teacher. Chew bubblegum in class. Okay, this is honestly like kind of one of the cutest ones I've seen. Oh, bazooka, bazooka gum, not gadzooka. See, some of them I feel like do have like um, printing all the way on all sides and then literally some of them don't. Ew, minute pre-cooked lice. Oh, you guys. Oh, these are so nasty. I feel like I've had the same reaction to unboxing every, every single thing, just screaming, just screams pre-cooked lice. That is absolutely disgusting. This one looks a little bit more realistic. It has like a actual like folded over box top. Oh, you guys, I think this is going to be like a one time experience to me. Oh, but yay. Okay. We got fruit phobia. I actually like this one a lot because I miss Fruitopia. Although I feel like I've talked about Fruitopia before and you guys have told me that they do still have it, I think at some McDonald's. Maybe y'all told me it's like McDonald's Canada or something because it has been far too long since I've seen Fruitopia or tasted Fruitopia in real life. So this is called Fruitophobia. The monstrous taste is coming to get you. High in Fritamin C. Best served chilled to the bone. Fruitphobia. See, that's also kind of the thing that I feel like these, uh, these ones have to be easier to pull off because I don't think that you have to like get permission to do like spoofs. You know what I mean? Whereas like obviously like Five Surprise and stuff, they're like you know, it's like a collaboration with like A1 or Kraft or like whatever. Ew, okay, we have skimpy, crummy peanut putter made from peanut smells? Does that say made from peanut smells? Oh, peanut shells. That would make so much more sense than peanut smells. What are peanut smells? We harvest only the finest peanut smells. Yeah, kind of freaky. Okay, up next we have campy, campy condemned spider soup. What does that mean? Like you're at a camp? You're at a summer camp of some kind? Campy condemned soup? I don't know. Oh, cause it's condensed soup, right? Ha ha ha. Ooh, Captain Crud. Help, inside, real pirate, taste cruddy even in milk. Captain Crud, 
everybody's favorite cereal. This is called Fiasco brand sauce. So instead of Tabasco, it's Fiasco. It's everybody's favorite sauce. Like, let me know, how like real do you think? I mean, I guess from like far away, you'd be like, oh, sir, is that a tiny, tiny bottle of Tabasco? But yeah, up close they do really look. Oh no, we have moron salt again. Duplicate. I think that's only the second duplicate we've seen so far. Oh my gosh. Okay. It is another potato chip thing, except for this time it's a beaver joke. Logs. Potato flavored wood chips. And it says, betcha can't eat even one. Zero grams of splinters. Ten timber ounces. That you really have to like look all over the packaging to catch all their little jokes. But yeah, the, the package is kind of the same. Well, it is, it is exactly the same as the other chip bag. So on the back, it looks kind of fake. Next, I feel like I'm being like overly critical of these today. Why did I like think that these were gonna be like less gross than they are? I don't know. Up next, we'll open this one because now this I know is gonna be a repeat right on the top. So once again, we have a bag of rivals. Yum, yum. Next, what do we have here? We've got, what is this? It is, oh, it's the Russian fish bone sauce again. You guys really have to let me in on this inside joke, if you know what it means. Oop, it's more fruit phobia. Oh my gosh, we have vile soap used by people who want privacy. I'm not, like, I don't know what brand this is spoofing. Used by people who want privacy. Who does not want that? How is that even creepy? I don't even, I don't even know what they're doing here. There's also like a cute little, oh, it's a skunk. I was like, that's a cute little puppy. I'm like the definition of that. You remember that scary story where the girl thinks she has a puppy and it's like a, it's like a rat. And then the rat has rabies. You remember they like adopt a puppy? I don't know. Oh my God. Okay. I'm legitimately excited about these because silverfish is like a definite bug that we have in Texas. I know that there are probably other places, but we have silverfish everywhere in Texas. So this is called Pesky Farms Silverfish Crawly Crackers. You'll never have to share. Excuse me, waiter, there's a silverfish in my soup. That's disgusting. Um, so this is obviously a play on goldfish crackers, except for these are buggy crackers. Oh my gosh, okay. How do you guys feel about these? We have one package left. I think there's more like candy options. Minute mud, that's hilarious. Okay, what is this gonna be? Gurgle baby food, pre-chewed mush, strained from the finest grade A sloppy mud. That, wow, <laughs> speechless. Look at that, you guys. That is just a hundred percent, ew. All right, last ones, you guys. Oh, we got more logs. I think we're running into duplicates now. I feel like I've lost count with this one. I don't know how many duplicates we've gotten. Ah, we got more Mrs. Clean with her super creepy little illustration there. We got, oh my God, instead of spam, it's scram. We got a can of scram. And let's see, it says, you'd better scram. Mom is making mystery meat scares kids away. You guys, I actually used to think spam was like horrid. It just always sounded really unappealing to me. I literally have no idea why, because honestly, my my like favorite kind of food is like anything covered in chili cheese. So why I would just be like opposed to spam when I'm like, mm -mm, hot dogs, yummy, yummy. I have no idea, but I, I tried spam for the first time like two years ago and it is actually so delicious. I feel like I've been missing out on spam my whole life. Uh, last one, you guys, was more cracked animal crackers. I don't 100% know that I'm gonna get more of these. They're kind of maybe a little too, um, a little too like, ugh, like weird for me. I don't know. You know, but hey, if you don't try it, how do you know if you're gonna like it or not? But yeah, I think I'm definitely running right on back to the pleasant land of um, five surprise 
mini brands. We can get our favorite, what was it, Old Bay seasoning for the 500th time. <laughs> You guys remember seeing where is now i can't even find one you guys old bay seasoning oh there we go i had 20 of them now i have one um also uh i saw that five surprise is actually making a new um type of mystery ball they're called like five mini toys or something they kind of remind me of the world's smallest they look so cute they have like miniature ninja turtle masks inside of them and stuff i don't think that they're released yet but i'm very very excited for those anyway you guys Thank y'all so so much for hanging out today and for watching let me know what you think about these things in the comments down below like i said i think they're like a little too like Whoa, i don't know if these are like i don't know if i'm crazy about these honestly but hey now i know until i see y'all again stay happy stay healthy stay sassy stay banana peppery uh i love you guys so so much and i will be back again very very soon bye